Hey guys, what's going on? Just before, uh, I'm in my garage right now, just before I go on a run. Uh, my marathon, my half marathon's on Sunday, so I thought I would do a lot of running a few days before, then take Saturday to just do nothing and let my muscles relax. So today is Thursday. It is 12.31 right now. Um, I have a nine and a half mile loop uh, by my house. This is what I deal with. Look at, is this a raccoon or a cat? I don't know. Um, I have a nine and a half mile loop by my house. And then to the end of the, the road and back that way is 3.2 miles. So together it's about 12 miles-ish. So I'm gonna run slash walk that just to get my body acclimated to, oh. Oh, I just pulled something in my neck. Uh, just to get my body acclimated to that, that distance um for sunday so yeah i'm gonna update you a few times during the run i'm gonna try to do like mile on mile off kind of thing and we'll see how long it takes me i guess i'm not going for any specific time i just want to get the distance in so let's get it it is so it is so nice out right now i think it's 60 degrees outside and i'm in upstate new york and it's march 17th happy st patty's day we're in green don't pinch me um, so I am used to it being like 30 or 20 out. So 61 feels nice. The snow's melting. We're getting towards spring. It's nice. Anyway, um, we're going to get on this run now. Okay. Uh, oof. Hope the wind doesn't get in the way of what I'm saying. Hope you can still hear me. I am at about 21 about 21 minutes right now because I ran half a mile down my road I realized I forgot this I'll explain what this is in a second for those who don't know so right now I'm about 2.3 miles in I'm feeling good I'm running like a 940 to 10 minute mile pace feeling good my shoes are still like waking up to my feet a little bit Dude, if I had a stick, this would be so nice. Literally, I'm hold just holding it out like this. Um, so yeah, I'm walking. I know where about three miles is. So, walking about halfway there, take like a half a mile break. Because what's interesting about running is, I really hope you can hear me. What's interesting about running is a super efficient way is the 80-20 split, where 80% of your running, look at this, that's where I went, that's where I came from, that's where I came from, that's where I'm going. Isn't this like the perfect place to run? There's roads. Um, the one, a really good running split is 80-20, so 80% of what you do should be pretty easy just based on distance, getting that, that time running, that distance running. And the 20% of it, I gotta switch hands, my arms are getting tired already. And 20% of it should be um, difficult for you. So like sprints, cause you gotta, you gotta sprint, you can't not. Um, so that's why I'm like walking every like, two miles I'll walk for half a mile and I'm keeping a pretty steady pace just trying to get the miles in um and then going back to this really quick because I'm running so long your body only has so much glycogen storage um that it's good to refuel and that's probably not super relevant for only 13 miles or I'll probably only end up doing like 11 it's probably not super relevant more relevant for like a marathon or like a like an ultra marathon like maybe 25 plus miles if you don't consume carbs during the race you're lit you're going to feel like you're dying by the end of it so it's, like i said i don't really necessarily think that's the case for 11 miles but i kind of just want to i wanted to try this i'm going to use one sunday i've never tried this one i have like this this waffle this, it's the same brand, Honey Stinger. 
it's a uh, salted caramel waffle. I had one at the gym yesterday when I was running. Oh, that thing slaps. I mean, it's just sugar. So of course, man, I have a feeling that you can hear nothing that I'm saying right now because the wind is unbearable. Look at this field, isn't this beautiful? Literally like in the middle of nowhere. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling really good. My feet aren't like hurting. Everything's kind of waking up. I feel, I feel really good. Guys, get out there, go on a walk. You don't have to go on runs like this. Just go on a walk, get outside, get some fresh air. It's so good for your body. And there's one thing, one more thing I wanted to mention before I start running again. What I do when I run, is I breathe in through the nose, either out through my mouth or out through my nose. Um, basically, I feel so much better when I'm breathing through my nose. And then another thing is the mental focus. If you focus on breathing through your nose and stepping on the ground, next thing you know, you're a mile down the road because you're, you're not focusing on, I need to get to that rock. I need to get to that tree. I need to get to that next thing. So yeah, focus on your breathing. Even if you're breathing through your mouth, which is obviously still great, you should breathe. Focus on breathing. And then next thing you know, you'll be farther down the road because you won't be paying attention to actually running. It becomes like a like a mental mental thing. People think running is hard. Running is one of the is the one of the easiest things ever. It's hard when you're thinking about the fact that you're running the entire time. It's mentally exhausting. I just I just start running and then it's completely normal. You're just like falling and catching yourself and using that energy. So next time I come back, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I do like or my form for running, okay? I'm gonna walk for a little bit, run. I'll be back, okay? Oh. All right, we're at 53 minutes. Damn, I walked a lot earlier. Um, five miles in. It's still like about 10 minute mile pace. I'm feeling so good right now. Like I was gonna do four and a half, but I was like five and I almost did push it to six before I started walking, but there's something up here um, that I wanna be running for, make sure I am. There's like these people that have a really loud dog who I like to, I like to, I like to run past it because it's better than him just being mean to me, right? <laughs> like he bullies me. Um, no, I'm feeling so good right now. I'm feeling like I have so much energy. I'm like, literally, you, like, I've been running a nine and a half minute mile pace. Um, and I was like, I'm like dancing while I'm running because I have so much like energy and I'm still pushing myself, but like, I'm legit like dancing to the song while I'm, while I'm running. I probably have. Let's see, I'm probably actually four and a half. So I probably have about five miles left, uh, like five, five and a half miles left. So I'm almost halfway. I'll probably stop one more time before I'll, if I'm at 510 right now, I'll probably stop at the eight mile mark. And then I'll walk for a minute and then I'll record when I get back to my house. But what I was gonna say about running is so this is this is what I do when I when I run. If this is your foot, which I'll, I'll like show, I can show a little bit more about this when I get back to my house. But um, if this is your foot, some people want to land on your heel and roll, and like that's how you you keep energy. The real way to keep energy is to use the elastics within your body. We were built to run. Like physically speaking, we were we're, we're running creatures. That's what our calf, that's what our Achilles tendon is for, is for taking that energy, absorbing it, and redispersing it 
if you think of if you think of running as just a bunch of like like push-offs no that's impossible right like who can really do a push-up off like like off their feet their foot like 5,000 times over like your legs would be dead so you have to utilize some of that absorption and reapplication of energy that's built into your body so you don't want to land on your heel you don't want to land on your heel and roll which is what I used to do honestly and I was always wondering why I was so gassed after like a mile my Achilles were tight my calves were killing me it's because I was I, my they were working overtime I wasn't absorbing any imagine trying to run like stomping like you're not absorbing any energy Every time you're starting from zero, you're, you have to remake all the energy in your muscles. And it's tiring. That's really tiring. So when you land on, if this is your foot and this is like, this is your heel, like my, 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 right there is your heel and these are your toes right here. You want to land right around here in the middle or like the ball of your foot. And then, so you land and then your heel comes down, stretches absorbs that, 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 that energy and then it contracts and it goes boing and then you bounce, right? It's literally, it's all built into the mechanics. Um, I, I, I want to do a running mechanics video so I'll explain more in depth in that video. But the baseline of it is that your body is meant to run. Listen, just let your body do, just fall forward, land on the, land on the ball of your foot, not your toes. Don't land it. Don't run on your toes. You land on the ball of your foot and allow your Achilles and your, and your, and your calf to absorb that, redisperse it and let your legs go where they want to go. That's the short version. I'll do a whole video on this when I actually like am not just like walking down the road. I'll do a whole video on this about the mechanics of running. There's this great paper I read one time about it, which I will link in the description of that video. Fantastic. I love running. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. Okay, I'm at 5.28 miles. Very nice man on a motorcycle. Four wheeler just passed me. I forgot I was gonna eat this right now, and I wanted to, I wanted it to be on camera. So I don't know what, what my reaction is gonna be. I don't know. I don't have any water, which I'm kind of scared about. Look, it's kind of like, oh, it looks like a. Pretty good. Very good. Question. Why didn't I... Why didn't I connect the dots? This is literally honey. How do I not connect the dots? It's literally honey. I thought that was just a brand. I just ate honey with no water. And I really have to pee. Okay. That was good, though. That was good. I just don't want to get honey. In. There's going to be honey in my pockets now. So... I have to wash these shorts. Again, I literally took them out of the dryer and I have to wash them again. Anyway, I'm going to go pee. I'll meet you guys at 8 miles. Keep. Okay. Hour and 32 minutes. 8 miles. Obviously, this isn't the pacing that I'll take 
on Sunday because I'm walking a lot of this. Not walking at all Sunday. That's my goal. I don't care how long it takes me. I don't care how dead I am after. Uh, I am not walking. I don't care if it's like a little not walking at all. Um, I'm feeling really fucking good right now. Sorry, really fudging good. Look at this shot though. Look at this. Down all the electric wires and check out this side too. Hold up, right in between them. Just. Look at that. This is the beauty that I get. I hate, I hate the treadmill. Cause you don't see stuff like this on the treadmill. I'm feeling really good. That was the last hill. I have one more hill left. It's like a little tiny, tiny, tiny hill right before the end. Stay out of this car. Stay out of this car. So I have one more left. Hey, I have one more left and probably about a mile and a half, maybe two miles left. And then we're good. Oh, I'm feeling really good. I think I want to have some more. I think there's more protein ice cream when I get home. Maybe not. Maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what time it is. I, I assume it's like 2. I think I assume it's like 2 right now. And I've had 800 calories for the day. 900. So maybe I'll throw in some protein ice cream. And like a uh, pre-made meal that I have. It's like turkey, potatoes and stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm feeling real good. I'm, this is getting me pumped for Sunday. Of course I'll record Sunday as well. I don't know, guys, if this is anything, if this is any, if this is any, motivation to like become active in any way I feel fantastic right now I feel like I could I don't even know I just feel really good waving to everybody I see I'm in a great mood Whew. all right I'm gonna finish this off mile and a half final finish kick at the end I'll catch you when I do my uh, my cool down walk after the after the run. Okay, Oasis. Okay, ten point three five ten point ten point three five miles completed. Average an eleven sixteen mile pace, which I think is really good considering I walked for like two miles of it. Uh, I'm gonna go in, shower, obliterate some food. <sighs> Kinda go from there. Let's cool down. I, was, I started getting calf cramps pretty bad. Uh, at like eight and a half miles. But I, I kind of slowed down a little bit, stretched them out. It's because I walked for so long and they were so tired. They were like, they thought they were done. I'm gonna go shower, yeah, eat some food and then use the massage gun. And move on with my day. See you guys after the shower. Oh, I feel, <coughs> I feel so tired. Um, body aches, but like I'm feeling good mentally. Um, what I wouldn't give for it to be like 9 p.m. right now. I think it's 3.30.
I wish it was 9 p.m. so I could just go to sleep. Um, but it's not, so we continue. I'm feeling good. I'm going to eat some food. I'm so hungry. Um, this stuff, baby powder, whatever. I used some of it. Like, you just put it, like, in between your thighs, in between your booty cheeks before you run. I'm happy I used some. I wish I'd used a little more. My butt cheeks are a little... In, in, in between the, the cavern area, it's a little raw. But in between my thighs, usually the worst. So good. Literally, if you're ever going on like a hike, any like long distance where your legs are moving a lot, use this stuff. Just pop, 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 move it around. It, it helps. It does wonders. Um, so I'll be back in one minute. I gotta reapply and then get situated, get my food out, and we'll start talking while I. My muscles. Okay? Wait. So, got my food. I was really hungry. So, while this was cooking, I devoured this. So, this is just ground turkey, uh, cucumbers, and onions and peppers with like some generic fajita seasonings and um, roasted potatoes with olive oil and like garlic powder. This is like three to 400 calories in there somewhere. There's also egg whites in there. Um, so it's like 25 grams of protein or 27 grams of protein. Then over here, well, this while I was, I was eating that, I cooked this, it's, 60 cal 60 calorie pita like a whole like, like a low calorie pita with just shredded chicken red hot and cheese on it so 200 250 calories yeah and then big glass of water to rehydrate after the run while i watch will tennyson and his girlfriend katie just eat a butt ton of donuts which i would love to do someday which I probably will do someday. Um, so yeah, got that. Got my uh, my massage gun right here. As soon as I'm done eating, I'm gonna massage my legs. Um, I'll be back after I devour this food. Okay. Stop. I'm so I'm so sleepy right now. I'm exhausted. Um. I use this on my calves. I use this, this attachment for my calves and my Achilles. I feel much better now. I use this on my uh, hamstrings, my quads, and my feet. <sighs> Hold on. <sighs> Just put it away. Um. I'm like really tired. I am, I am absolutely exhausted right now. I feel like I want to go lay down. It's five o'clock and I got a dry elbow. Anyway, 10 out of 10 run. I feel great. I'm just like so tired. It was like, it's, like I was saying earlier in the video, I'm like used to like 30 degrees out now. So it's 65 out right now. And it was, oh, so hot out, so hot out. Another plus about breathing through your nose is breathing through your mouth dries out your mouth a lot especially when you're running the last thing you want is to have a dry mouth so i had plenty of water in my system for the run um but if i had if i had needed water to like, keep my mouth wet then like i, I would have died so breathing through your nose doesn't it doesn't dry your mouth out because the air doesn't even pass through your mouth so that's another benefit like huge benefit is so like you can drink all the water in the world, but the moment you keep like, like you're gonna, your mouth's gonna dry out, especially when it's so hot out. 
So that's another benefit of, of, of nasal breathing while running. Um, is uh, you can run a lot longer, like hi like mouth hydration wise. I didn't drink any water for that entire ten. My that entire ten miles. I'm really excited. I got a new brand of Greek yogurt that I wanted to try. The Oikos brand, so I'm gonna give that a try. And um, if I think of it while I'm editing, I'll put the I'll put what I right here think it'll be like what i thought of it out of 10 yeah so that's gonna wrap up the video guys um thank you for watching i am so tired but i had a really fun day um i'm gonna sleep so well tonight i'm gonna do it again tomorrow maybe not as far but i'm gonna run again tomorrow saturday i'm doing nothing on the race at 7:45 Sunday morning. I'm getting excited. I'm I am excited. Um especially since I, you know, hit record just now, I feel much more awake. Um so I'm getting excited again. So anyway, yeah, that's going to wrap the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh I I guess I'll see you in the next one. I have a donut i will have a donut eating video coming out soon i'm gonna try to eat i'm gonna try to eat like two dozen donuts in one sitting anyway catch you guys later see ya